just having some issues with my 3000 watt inverter which I paid 500 odd dollars for when a 1200 watt hair dryer is applied the bottom the bottom trace on the scope here is the inverter the top one is the mains I'm just having some, some issues getting it calibrated but when it's when the hair dryer is switched on it actually goes square wave which I don't know what's happening there. I don't know what's going on, I can tell you, I don't but know. I took a picture of, there we go, now it's square wave. And that's only 1200 watts, is it? No, that's only about 800 watts. 800 watts, and it and it's goes square wave. You'll also notice that the top of the sine wave is clipped, and the bottom. The top one up there is, is power from the grid. Now, I would think that a 500 odd dollar inverter could uh, could produce a stable sine wave, especially when it's advertised. Now, it also in the ad it also says that it is um, radio frequency. Ad, it's ACMA approved, meaning it does not give off any radio frequencies. Now, if you'll uh, turn on your little uh, radio free um, interference sniffer, the third on the ladder at the moment. that is from the inverter. Now that's that's interference from the inverter. Now I'm not sure what it means in China, but in Australia, radio frequency compliant means that it doesn't give off any interference. Sine wave means it gives off a perfect sine wave, not clipped sine wave. That doubling of frequency is correct since the battery charges put on. Yeah. So, I don't know what uh, what you mean over in China, but over here that is not okay. That's your battery charger. Mm. Well, that's that's what's making yeah. the doubling effect. But the the clips the clip sine wave is thanks to the inverter. It's the clip sine wave. I'll go down a step. But if uh, want to put it, put onto high power and see how it goes. Now that is that that is square wave, square wave from a pure sine wave inverter. How does that work? Now take a look at the power reading of the uh, thing. Wherever that is listed. There we go. The 1800 watts, 1200 watts. Now, I would think that a pure sine wave inverter could handle that without going square wave. I would like my money back. <laughs>